building you can't miss when you're driving on County Road 26 in Elkhart County. Yeah, we're talking about Southgate Crossing, otherwise known as the Big Red Barn, and there are a few restaurants inside, including a brand new joint called Southgate Barbecue. Ooh. Melissa Stevens takes us inside for this week's Michiana Eats. What made you want to bring barbecue inside here? Um, well, there's been a smoker here since, since we took the place uh, just over two years ago, and mm -hmm. um, that would be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and, and open one up. We have mm -hmm. pulled, pulled pork every day, smoked sausage sandwiches, mm -hmm. um, baked, smoked baked potatoes, uh, ribs. You're going to make me wear that. Of okay. course, of course. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna wear it proudly, Mike. Okay. All right. I'm going to wear it proudly. The best way to do it is not think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, what, just reach in, grab a hunk, <laughs> and you just throw it in there. That's and you it. Just start, you just start kind of like shredding yeah, it. Yeah, shred it up. Oh yeah, the texture kind of gets to you yep. a little bit, but it's so juicy. Look at that. Makes you want to just like take a big piece and just start eating it of right course. now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pulled pork sandwich right there. I'm just gonna dive in, okay? Go right don't don't in. mind me. Of I haven't course. eaten lunch yet, so. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> so There's I no get, polite so I guess way the to. Apron works. <laughs> or <it> fits. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. That's really good. Well, thank you. Smoky flavor. It falls apart. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing, when you don't need barbecue sauce on it, that's how you know, Yeah. right? Yep. Like that's that's for me, like yeah, that's, that's good barbecue. That's why I like it, just the regular juices and then mm -hmm. if you want to add sauce, you can. You guys are amazing just seeing the transformation of the building from what it used to be. It's full now, different vendors. Mm -hmm. It's really a place for like the community to come together. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And we, we get quite a few people in meeting and uh, you know, have meetings here. Or, um, you know, yeah. Uh, the police officers were in there earlier today, you know, the sheriff's officer right down the road. And, mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's just a fun place. Two thumbs up. I can taste it. I, I know you can. <laughs> I can still taste it. Oh my gosh. No, Mike, by the way, has right. won awards for his barbecue in the past. He's like competed in stuff. So I'm just saying, like, you know it's good. You know. And they're, they're open, open most days too, right? Yeah, except for Sunday, 10 okay. to 6. Okay. So, and it's so cool though. I went last weekend with my boyfriend and we were just kind of looking around shopping. Yeah. There's so many different like artisan markets. Like we bought some candles and like some some coasters and things like that. So yes. it's it's beautiful. That's the thing. I think people who've never been there think it's just for arts, crafts, right. and other items, but it's like, no, there's this too. Yes. yes. Oh man, yes. it's awesome. And I love that you said even when you bit into the sandwich, you don't need the sauce. Nope. The meat's good. Don't need the sauce. We I need know. to have a compilation of you trying everything, and this yes. is putting together for a two minute. Uh, yes. I need to go to the gym. I think That's arts, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's you really what needs to happen. You're doing something like that for the holidays too. Yes, yes. yes. On holidays time, yes. so yes. you'll see it. Stay tuned for that, it's gonna be fun. Melissa, thank you. Thank you, look good. Come